Well, time to wrap it up for the weekend. Hopefully, um, you all have uh, improving weather conditions this weekend. We certainly do. Uh, I might make 55 degrees or so here today, and uh, they've got 60s in the forecast this weekend, which would be nice, which would be nice. Okay, we came in today. It's a Newsday trade. Uh, there's no way to get around that. Um, the uh, non-farm payroll number came in higher than 230, high enough that the Fed will be ready to interest rates rather than sooner. There was a whipsaw. The news was delayed this morning, but that news was bad for both financials and the indexes. So this was the first selling that was done off the news. Market, that 85, 87's been a good area for us. We've tried to buy that. Uh, rallies back up into that 95 area. A little head and shoulders fails to develop. Retest failure. Mean green trades out the waz. Five or six tops right there, and then it starts to sell again. First stop was in the 77 area. Rallies back up. 80, a round number. Remember those market numbers we talked about, how they influence the trading? And you can just see them all across, uh, uh, retest failure, and so on and so forth. And right here, we're down in the 70 area. I thought we were going to close it in the 75 area right here. Uh, we still could. Uh, depends on what goes on, but the market is definitely sold. So, And that was news-related. It's a news day trade. Know the news. Um, you got the trade. Our trade is to enter at the mode mean the value area high because it was a down market or where the news hit the market, and you actually could get in where the news hit the market on that particular one. So uh, we had good trading. We knew how to handle this, and it uh, put some could have put some money in your accounts if you'd taken the trades. Looking at the F1 screen, certainly going to tell us to be a seller, no doubt. Now just a couple of spots here, the 60 area. Had this breakout from uh, 67, so 60, 67. So 60, 67 right here is uh, one area that we might look for some support. And if we go beneath that, that uh, 40 to 45 area, obviously 50 are being a round number, but the F1 screen right here says lower. F2 screen confirms. And the last rotate up stopped at 76. Uh, we're at 70 right now. Uh, we'd want to sell, assuming we close at 70, uh, the 74, 76 would be sell one on Monday. There is no news in 79, 81. And the backup structural sell will be 84.50 right there. Uh, on the buy side, we've got volume down here at 63. So we're at 69. So... We'll make it uh, 60, 63 for our buy one, and then 55 for buy two. And we'll see how it plays. I've given it some room. Um, my guess is we'll have a pause day on Monday, uh, but you never know. So that's the way I see the E-mini. No news to drive Monday's trading. And I'll put a question mark by 67, 60, uh, 67 on, on the buy. Then 55, 57. Okay, um, the uh, job jobless claims were higher than, uh, I mean, the uh, jobs, non-farm payroll numbers were bigger than forecast. That in and of itself would take the note and the bond down. But raising interest rates, um, sooner rather than later also contributed to selling and here we are at 126 on the f1 screen definitely a seller because of the news normally now this is an outside day normally on an outside day uh, we would say trading range so the issue for us on monday is pause day or continuation now if we come off a high up here on this type of a day we would look for continuation uh, we have broken support right here so this 26, 16 area, 24 area is a pretty important resistance, and that's a ways away. So on this one, we will be sellers on Monday. And if we can't take out the overnight session low come Monday morning, then we can uh, trade from the long side. We'll assume 
Ma's Day. Closed at one and a half, last rotate up was three, then five, then six and a half, so three to seven, sell one, 11 to 15, sell two. Uh, on the buy side, I think we can go a little bit lower. I'm not too sure we can break it just because uh, continuation after. So we'll make 25, 29, buy one, and then 17, 21, buy two. I hope you all have had a good week. Uh, we, we've had a lot of stuff come by this week. We've talked about a lot of different concepts on the website. Uh, we'll have five videos up that I that we did this week that you can go take a look at over this weekend or for those of you that are members. And for those of you that are not members, I mean, after what you've seen this week, what in the hell's holding you back, you know? We're pretty good at what we do. 19 to 23, sell one on the bond. 27 to 31, sell two. On the buy side, we've rejected prices below 55, so I'll make 01, 29, buy one. I, you know, we're probably going to close this gap and get down to 48, 47, 48 before this contract is off. I mean, 65 down to this. I mean, what? I mean, that, that would be $30,000 a position. Now let's make it 1721 for buy two. We'll be a little be a little aggressive on the idea of a pause market. But it's just um, just amazing what we see these days. Gold headed lower, definitely a sell. And again, after a trend day, we expect a pause day. So we'll see how deep we can go. Uh, we've got this 55, 57 area. Then we've got 50 way down here, and we're at 65. So uh, 60 plus or minus, this 55 to 60 area, make this buy one at 60 plus or minus, buy two at 55 plus or minus. On the sell side, maybe a little higher, so uh, maybe 68, 70 sell one. And then 73, 75, sell two. And March the 9th, I think uh, the European Central Bank is going to announce the composition of their purchases, uh, which might stir things up in London. So those of you that trade London time, you have to have that to look forward to. Okay, crude oil, uh, again, it does not trade the fundamentals. Uh, I mean, storage above the ground. Everybody and their mother, mother pumping as much crude as they can to try to get as much cash flow as they can is what we're dealing with. We do like the short side of the market. Um, so this 49, 48.75, buy one, that's where support is. And then 48 and a quarter, 48.50, picking up this area, stops over there, will be buy two. Um, you know, we've had really, really strong rallies with overproduction and oversupply. So... Uh, this market can do what it's going to do. Uh, this uh, 49, 75, 50, sell one, pretty aggressive. And then 50, 25, 50, 50, leaning up against this area, sell two. Okay, 6E, uh, the euro, uh, round numbers is what we'll look at. And, and 108 is where somebody will cover some shorts. So uh, 
we're right at 50 right now. Uh, so 40 to, God, I hate this. I, I hate being long in this contract, but that is where support is. The pause day, I think we're going to go a little bit lower than, I don't like that number up there. So we'll make buy two, eight, 108 even to 10. And we'll make uh, 25 to 35 by, by one. Uh, this is a perfect example. I'm writing something down, and I'm thinking about my heads, and I've got an accountant or lawyer's answer right there, 50 is a round number. And I write it down, and then all of a sudden, uh, right in the gut or my belly button or my intuitive knowledge, uh, didn't like that trade at all. And over time, I have learned you just learn not to fight that, and that's a, that's a voice you want to develop over time, too. Okay, we've got resistance at uh, 60, and then 66, and then at 76. So 60 to 70, so one. And then we've got resistance at basically 80 to 90, so 90 to the box, sell two. And that'll do it for March the 6th. 2015. Now, for those of you that haven't found us on YouTube yet, every day on YouTube I recount the trades, the setback trades, the retest failure trades, the mean green trades, the exhaustion bar trades on the e-mini, uh, and the note or the bond. And it's a great place to come in and just really, really stay on top of the methodology and the uh, technique. And it, it, they're great learning examples. So for those of you that are new, uh, please avail yourself of that information and knowledge. And with that said, I wish you all a great weekend. Um, history, I'll see you bright and early Monday morning, and hopefully I'll have a little red color to my skin. Maybe I'll be able to get outside in the sun a little bit and start getting ready or thinking about spring. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great weekend.